let us discuss another very important circuit that is our star delta starter. So now how does the star delta starter work? So here you see we are having this electrical wiring diagram of the star delta starter. So this is our 24 volt supply and this is our NO start push button and that is one interposing relay. So when this uh, start push button will be pressed and when this NC is not pressed because it is a stop push button then a current will be flowing through this on T on timer that is the on delay timer okay and also this interposing delay will get the required power supply. So when this interposing delay will get the power supply then the circuit the relay will make the circuit and here we have kept no contact of the interposing relay to drive this star coil and this is our no contact of the timer which will initiate the delta coil after a certain time interval. In case of start delta, when we shall go for the start push button pressed, then the star coil will, will get started and after some stipulated amount of time which, will, which we shall set in the parameter of this on delay timer, after that time period this delta coil will be initiated and will be switched on. Because we do not want to get the maximum current at the very first instant of the, of the circuit initiation. So at first this star coil will be initiated then after certain time this delta coil will be initiated. But when we shall press this NC stop push button then both the coils will get stopped will get off at the same time. So that is the basic principle of star delta starter. So now let us go for the respective PLC wiring diagram of the star delta starter. This is the PLC wiring diagram we have given you a proposal the sample of this PLC wiring diagram but depending upon the PLC type or category depending upon the other accessories this wiring diagram can get changed. So this is our input section where we have connected the start and stop switches and this is our output section from where two interposing relays they have got activated and when they will get activated when they will get the power then they will make the circuit and respectively this star coil and this delta coil will be initiated will get the required power supply from the respective sources. Here the source value may also get changed depending upon the motor types and its respective demand. So this is the PLC wiring diagram of the star delta starter. So now let us go for the ladder diagram of the same. So this is the push button start push button and there is a stop push button here it is the uh, make contact this is this is the break contact this is the make contact. So this is our NO this is our NC and this is our M1 that is the initial internal flag which will be used for the internal logic and as it is a push button so when we shall release then the path will be broken. So we are given another parallel latch path here of this M1 in NO okay. This M1 will initiate the star coil initially and also this M1 will initiate this on delay timer. So when this on delay timer the time or the parameter which will be set with this on delay timer will be reached then this on delay timer NO will initiate this delta coil. Now when we shall press this respective uh, our push button that is the normally connected NC push button then this M1 will be will be cut and when this M1 will be off then Q1 will be off and when M1 will be off then T1 timer output will be off and when it will be off then delta coil will be off at the same time. In this way the circuit will be operated. So let us go for one practical demonstration of this star delta coil starter for the better understanding. So here is the practical demonstration for you. Here we are going to have our ladder circuit or the ladder diagram for our star delta starter problem. So at first let us do some labeling of our inputs and outputs.
let us make the ladder diagram ready So in this way, the ladder diagram has been completed. So here we have used one on delay timer. So we are having a separate video where we have discussed how this on delay timer can be operated. Please watch that one for the better understanding. We have made this I1 as the start push button and I2 as a stop push button. This is the internal flag bit. So this bit has been last here through this, uh, through this uh, make contact uh, block and then this uh, is when this particular internal flag bit will be on then the star coil will be on then the start the m1 will also make this timer triggered after five seconds when the timer will be on then this uh, t001 this make contact will make the delta coil output on so in this way the circuit should work so let me go for the simulation so simulation has been clicked. So now I'm making this one on. So you see Q1 is on and after five seconds, the Q2 will become on in that case. So now when I shall press this stop button, then outputs are getting off. Making this on, before getting the delta coil on, I'm just clicking the stop button. So Q2 uh, didn't get enough time to make itself on before, before, before five seconds elapsed. I clicked on this stop button. So in this way, this start delta circuit, the problem has been solved and the circuit is working very good. So we can also have the respective start delta starter FBD. If we click to convert to FBD on this particular icon. Now let us come out from the simulation, convert to FBD. This is the required FBD. So now you see, This is the star coil, this is the delta coil and this is the respective AND logic because we had two switches in series, start and stop switches, switches so that's why this is the respective AND block and this is our OR block because they were in the parallel. So this M1 is coming in the parallel and with this particular input so that's why this OR block is here. This is the stop switch whatever we are having. This is the respective ON delay timer and the star coil output and delta coil output has been shown accordingly. So now if we simulate here also as the circuits are equivalent so obviously it will also work. So after 5 seconds this Q2 will be on. So now if we click on the stop switch then both the Q1 and Q2 will get off. In this way the circuit is behaving the diagram is behaving perfectly okay. So in this way we have implemented star delta starter problem. Thanks for watching this video.